Hello, hello, welcome back uh, with another one. Today we're going to be discussing a little bit about how Satan is the god of this world. And I've heard this before, and I wasn't really certain about it, but then I did some more research, and to come to find out the Bible confers with this. So, we'll start off with 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. And let me see here. That says, The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ who is the image of God. So the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers. Now, you might not think that's Satan, or that, or that's God, or whatever. But that's that's just something weird. That I'm not saying that means uh, Satan is God of this world. That's just something to consider. Why uh, interpreting that Satan is, is the God of this world? So that's just something that goes along with this. So hold on one second. And then we got in John. Uh, what is it? John five or or one John five twenty or five eighteen through twenty it says we know that anyone born of God does not continue to sin. The one who is born of God keeps him safe, and the evil one cannot harm him. We know that we are children of God, and the whole world is under the control of the evil one. So, the whole world is under control of the evil one. That means that the person who's in control is, is a, or that that's a God that's in control. So, the whole world is under control of the evil one. That means that Satan is in control of the world, and Satan is therefore the God of this earth. He's not God, the, the God the creator of all but he is the god of this world because he has the power so hopefully that makes sense but you heard it right there in the bible i mean it doesn't say satan is god of this earth but it pretty much implies it what do you think is god the god of this world or has Satan been granted power by God? Leave a comment. Let me know. Like, share, and follow.